welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install Bluestacks 4 and then install Call of Duty Mobile. To start off with, first you need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you are on this page, you now need to click on download Bluestacks and you now need to go save file. Once file has finished downloading, you now need to run the setup file. And once the setup screen has loaded, you can now press install now. But if you do want to customize the installation, then you can go ahead and press custom installation and you can now choose where you'd like to install Bluestacks. Once you are happy with your choice, you can go ahead and press install now. Once Bluestacks has finished installing, it will automatically launch and you will end up with a window that looks like this. Once Bluestacks has finished loading, you now need to go down to the bottom and click on App Center. And we now need to go to the top right and search for Call of Duty. And you now need to press the magnifying glass. And we now need to click on Install underneath Call of Duty. And you now need to sign into Google Play. If you don't have a Google account, then you need to head on over to google.com and create an account. You can now go ahead and type in your email address or your phone number, depending on what you used, and sign into Google. I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Once you have signed in, you now need to press install again, and it will begin to download Call of Duty Mobile and then install it to Bluestacks. Once Call of Duty has finished installing, you can now go ahead and press open. And you will now have a window that tells you your game controls. As you can see, if you scroll down, you have your combat controls here. And if we scroll down a bit more, you have your general controls and you have your movement keys. They are similar to any other first person shooter game you play on your PC. If you do want to show this screen again, then all you need to do is press Ctrl, Shift and H and it will bring this screen up. You can also press Edit to edit any of the controls that you are not happy with. Once you are happy with the controls, you can go ahead and press Save and close this window. You now need to press OK and as you can see, oh, and press Allow and Allow again. And as you can see, it now has all the controls on our screen. To hide these controls on your screen, all you need to do is hold down Control, Shift and F6 and it will hide them. If you want to show them again, all you need to do is hold down Control, Shift and F6 again. And you can now choose from Facebook or Guest on how you want to sign into Call of Duty. I'm going to select Guest for now. You now need to choose a name for your character. I'm just going to go with CS. 1298 that is totally random and you need to press OK you can now go ahead and press OK again once you are in game you now need to press F1 to lock your mouse onto the game and as you can see I can move around if you do want to display the keys again because you're not too sure what the keys are then all you need to do is hold down Control shift and F6 and as you can see I now have all the keys on my screen and you can press F1 again to lock on and there we go that is how you set up call of duty mobile on bluestacks 4 i hope this tutorial has helped if it has hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials also if you do want to know how to key map a controller in call of duty mobile then click on the link that's in the description below don't forget to check out my social channels